Randy, thank you. Let's get back to these bribery charges against Ward 8 Council Member Trayon White. Now, White is accused of accepting more than $150,000 in bribe money to help companies get city contracts. Here he is leaving court yesterday, surrounded by supporters. He's back in court next month, but in the meantime, many are wondering what this means for Ward 8 and the council. Jess Arnold joins us now live from the Wilson building. And Jess, first, uh, the first thing here is, what do his constituents think about these charges? Yeah, well, they're having mixed feelings based on who our team was able to speak with yesterday. Some think that, you know, these charges themselves are shady. Some say that they believe he was genuinely trying to help because these charges do relate to violence intervention contracts, but that he went about it all the wrong way. But I want you to hear from them yourself. I understand his intentions and what he was trying to do for the community of Ward 8, but I also feel that you chose the wrong direction to go. If if Trayon White was doing whatever he was doing to prevent violence in the district, I feel as though, you know, he, he should have some grace. I admire the brother for trying to do something for us, but you know you can't strong arm the system. Councilmember White's office did release a statement last night saying in part, quote, we recognize the seriousness of this matter. We want to assure Ward 8 residents and stakeholders that our office remains fully operational and steadfast in our commitment to serving the public. Now, most of his fellow council members have now released statements, many saying that they need to let the case play out before making final judgments, while also protecting the sanctity of the council. So, Council Chair Phil Mendelson says he does plan to remove Council Member White from his role as the head of the Committee on Recreation, Libraries, and Youth Affairs until the charges are resolved. He also plans to establish an ad hoc committee to conduct its own investigation. And Councilmember Mendelson said that he will announce those appointments this week. Now, in terms of the charges, we have the court documents online where you can read them all for yourselves. But essentially, they allege that White agreed to accepting payments from a company owner totaling $156,000 in exchange for his commitment to influence D.C. contracts related to violence intervention services. Now, those contracts were valued at $5.2 million. The FBI says that these dealings were caught on video and show him accepting envelopes full of cash, totaling $35,000 each. Now, Council Member White is expected to be back in court on September 19th. It's for a status hearing. In the meantime, tomorrow, some Ward 8 Advisory Neighborhood Commissioners are planning to meet up to discuss how they plan to continue serving the community and move forward throughout this case. Guys. All right, Jess Arnold reporting. Thank you, Jess.